With the Halloween season continuing, this video celebrates 2005's DreamWorks and Aardman collaboration, Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Were-Rabbit. Were-Rabbit? They're Rabbit. The feature-length cinematic debut of the well-meaning eccentric cheese-loving inventor and his silent hyper-competent canine sidekick whose presence graced a trilogy of short films from 1989 to 1995. Here the iconic duo work as pacifistic pest control operatives who encounter a mysterious creature posing a threat to local vegetable growers. The stop-motion claymation is seamlessly fluid and pristinely crafted while maintaining the modest charm of the original shorts. Thanks to the quaint village setting, the humour is hugely creative. Utilising brief simple wordplay, believably elevated behaviour, advanced slapstick and sparing respectful reinventions of hammer horror or classic monster movie tropes. The cast is larger than any of the previous Wallace and Gromit projects, with memorable additions such as the arrogant upper class and increasingly dangerous Victor Quartermain, the pleasant wealthy Lady Tottenden and the eccentric local vicar played extremely capably by Rafe Fiennes, Helena Bonham Carter and Nicholas Smith, who were so committed to these roles they apparently underwent painstaking plastic surgery to temporarily become small clay models reminiscent of the Wallace and Gromit style. That sounds challenging. It must have been hard, man. The late Peter Salas naturally returns to provide an earnest, mild-mannered warmth to Wallace. The heightened budget and extended runtime allowed by DreamWorks' involvement is gleefully weaponized allowing the suspenseful mystery plot to advance at a suitable speed. With several exciting action set pieces, minor world building details and a welcome air of whimsy that ensure the film displays strengths beyond its comical priorities. The film's few flaws, though barely noticeable, are existent. A faint issue is slightly turbulent pacing near the very beginning, but any lasting damage this would potentially present is eliminated by the fact that even some of the brief pace disrupting moments provide humour and others that initially seemed pointless later proved to be necessary plot details. Another issue is that a minor subplot is seemingly introduced and never resolved, though arguably the film wasn't allowed the time to draw a satisfying conclusion. Wallace and Gromit The Curse of the Were-Rabbit brilliantly balances the tasks of adjusting to a wider audience and nurturing original brand appeal. The humour, identifiable characters, well-chosen cast, exciting plot including an endearingly natural romantic angle, prove this feature's ambition was hugely beneficial. Congratulations are in order for the film's co-writers and co-directors Nick Park and Steve Box. Sometimes the creative vision functions, or rather, Sometimes the dream works. Available currently on Netflix UK and possibly other territories, the film is highly recommended to fans of wholesome inventive comedy, while its horror themes result in appropriate Halloween time viewing. Thanks for watching, and if I don't see you next time, I'll assume you're travelling to the moon to discover if it's made of cheese. Wise choice for two reasons. Firstly, it remains within social distancing guidelines, and secondly, a space documentary called A Grand Day Out proves this is indeed the case. Bright eyes burning like fire. Bright eyes. How can you close and fail? How can the light that burns so brightly suddenly burn so pale? Well, great. Now I don't know what I'm going to sing at the end of a Watership Down video if I ever make one of those. Guess I'll have to never make one of those. I've ruined my life.